Local transport authorities say ships can now enter the city's Yangshan Deepwater Port when visibility is only about 200 meters, an important step in the making the port more competitive. Chen Bing explains. In the past, ships couldn't enter the port when visibility dropped below one kilometer, which was a huge concern given the city's air pollution problems. That means on a few occasions, ships were kept out of port for more than 30 days due to heavy fog or haze over the past few years. But after 70 months of work, engineers have come up with a navigation system that makes it easier for ships to enter the port. We've installed an accurate positioning system based on Beidou's satellites. We added solid-state radar to detect small boats. Yangsheng port is near a fishery, so there are many small fishing boats and ferries running between the Zhoushan Islands. The new radar can find the boats and warn cargo ships. We have set directional loudspeakers to make it easier to communicate between the small boats and cargo ships. Finally, there is a new smart guidance system that combines hydrology, weather and geology analysis. The new system will be used to help ships enter the port when the visibility is between 200 and 500 meters, and the port can inform international ships about fog or haze in advance. The port will tell the foreign shipping company or shipping agency three days before the ship arrives at Yangshan. And now foreign shipping companies will be confident they can get to shore at Yangshan with the visibility about 200 meters because we have the techniques to support it. One shipping expert explained that competition between deep water ports in Asia is becoming fierce. International cargo ships have become bigger. One ship can hold more than 20,000 tons of standard containers, which are 20-foot equivalent units. So there will be fewer but bigger ships in the future. And all big shipping companies will be part of several alliances. They will choose fewer ports of call. So Shanghai must be an irreplaceable port where the shipping alliances will come and not go to other ports. In Asia, Shanghai must compete with Busan port in South Korea, Singapore and Hong Kong. Local ports handled more than 32 million tons of standard containers last year, far more than the three other ports. But only 40 percent of the goods were transferred by ship to other destinations. One expert said that needs to increase. The international cargo can be transported to Jiangsu and Zhejiang along the Yangtze River. Compared to train or road transportation, using ships will cost half as much allow for more tonnage and produce less pollution. Engineers at Yangshan are now working on the system to inform cargo ships and trucks about the real-time situation at the port. Chen Bing, Shanghai Live.